we would see the most likely uh, scenarios uh, occur. Of course, the obvious one is humanitarian disaster inside North Korea and the likelihood of refugee flow. Uh, but refugees will flow really when there is violence, when they are threatened. And so the scenario, some of the scenarios that we're most concerned about is internal fighting as military units uh, seek resources and the ability to survive and use their military power to do that. And so if internal fighting uh, starts taking place, obviously that's gonna affect the people and we're likely to see people move away from the violence, possibly cross into China, maybe uh, in, across the DMZ into South Korea and some perhaps by boat uh, even to Japan. But the real threat is the fact that North Korea is a guerrilla dynasty. Uh, it, it's really, its legitimacy is derived from the guerrilla warfare that Kim Il-sung led uh, during World War II against the Japanese occupation. And their entire culture is built around this ability to resist, uh, to complete the revolution. And it is very likely that the 1.2 million soldiers that are on active duty, the 6 million reserve soldiers, and almost the entire country having military training, it is likely that there will be an insurgency who will resist any foreign uh, uh, intervener, whether it is China, South Korea, uh, the South Korean US forces, or anyone. And so this is why we have to, to consider that the conflict inside North Korea uh, the resistance inside North Korea could be on a scale far greater than Iraq and Afghanistan.